lot of money in this project, which is what it means, but we certainly could not have invested the love and the passion and the excitement that you bring to the project. So without that momentum, we probably wouldn't be here, so you should probably thank yourself for that. This, this project, as you all know, uh, the vision of this project came from Richard Heisenbottle, who has been relentless in his passion to keep his, uh, his life work uh, preserved and to bring to his life and his legend uh, after him uh, a project of his magnitude that really puts into history books what the Richard Heisenbottle Architects is all about. And, uh, and we, should, we should all commend him for his life's work. And contrary to what I heard, um, I personally can tell you that it probably has not a lot to do with money for Richard. This is more of his passion and his life's work. Because one of the things that attracted me to the project was the fact that at the beginning of the project when we were just talking, there was only one of us that put their hand in their pocket and got it done, and that was Richard. So I wanted to make sure that we all recognized him for not only his contribution as an architect, but his, his you know, impetus and the initial capital that was, was necessary to get this attract the rest of us into the project. Not to mention my other partner, Charles Prompty, who brings a vision of how this project is going to work when it is operational and what it will do to this town and bringing a world-class luxury to this project, to this town, to this county, where it will be recognized by the world as, as a class project for the elite, which is what I understand uh, the reason it was built in the first place by Henry Plant. He wanted the aristocrats to have a playground by which they would come and visit. And our vision is to uh, bring that back to life and maintain it for the aristocrats who live here now and who will always live here. So that's that's the vision of where the project is going. How we've gotten to this point is very uh, interesting in a very short period of time. Things have aligned itself because uh, you all own the property emotionally. There's no question about that. Uh, the town owns it um, to a certain point on the legalities of it, which I'm sure you, you've had your share with the current donor. Can I proceed? Yes, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'll be brief. That's a, I think I have a plane at 10 o'clock, so I'll get done before that. Um, and and uh, mostly, and the uh, most difficult obstacle is the economic portion. And that is where most of the prior developers and teams have, have just not been interested. It is uh, way too much of an expensive risk for an investor, an institutional banker, any type of financial institution. Not only in the monetary risk, because it's a fairly unknown area in the world's geography as far as a destination, but also the fact that there is a huge risk in the construction timeline to restore a project that is over 100 years old, where you don't know what you're going to find when you open the wall. Those, those types of risks are basically a killer for any type of developer to come into town, whether they be hotel here or residential. Uh, there's no question in anybody's mind that a project of this magnitude and, and where, it, where it sits, to, to quote the mayor's words, is probably the, the 22 most pristine acres in, in all of Florida. So that's the attraction and that's the value to most developers and they would love to demolish that property and take advantage of those 22 acres which the town sits on. There's no question about that. That's a no-brainer. Um, however, what we've been able to do is to encapsulate the excitement of the community, the passion in the community, bring into play to our financial investors the ability to bring public capital to the table which takes care of the delta increase in costs and perhaps some unforeseen costs that will be inherent in the project of this magnitude and of course of this age. That is where the problem has been and we have found a way to mitigate that through the TIF that we spoke of a little earlier and some other public capital. That takes care of a lot of the risk. Now we have to convince the financial invest institution and the financial world and the beginning of what is looks like the, the, the restitution of our, of our economy, which is difficult enough, let alone the uncertainty of where we're going. Yeah, that's a big one as well. Um, so we've been able to do that because of the positive press, because of what your commission is doing to preserve this property within the community, because of your passion and your tenacity in keeping it alive and not letting her go off life support. 
So that has been the motivation that has put us into enrolling ourselves into your plan in your city to bring this project together. And we have been successful in being able to attract the right investment group. Now understand this is a major, major undertaking that involves a lot of people, including institutional vendors, and what we will eventually reveal to you to be some of the, the top wealth in the world, which will, will also help us to bring a lot of the people that will come to visit your town and bring a lot of class and a lot of arist aristocrat uh, nature to your town and restore that in the age into our modern, modern age. So that's what we can tell you of where we are now. Um, the, the, you know, the team speaks for itself. We all have our skills. I think Rich and, and Charles bring a tremendous amount of, of power to this. I've just been able to put the glue together and, and find a way to make it happen. But I'm certainly honored to be part of the project. I, I, I can't tell you how much I enjoy the welcome and, and the open arms that we've been received. So I thank your commission. I thank the city. And I, I think uh, we're going to make the go of it. Thank you.